I am addicted to coffee. And if you have ever wondered what coffee and black water aquariums have in common, well, today's your day. Today, we're gonna talk botanicals. I'm sure you've heard of the word botanicals and tannins before, especially if you've been fish keeping long enough. But simply, if you add botanicals like leaves, bark, seed pods, driftwood to your aquarium, and depending on how you pre-treat these botanicals, you are going to get either really dark water or just a slight tea tint to your aquarium water. But either way, I don't find botanicals bad in any way, but there are some pros and a few cons that we'll go over, but simply, where do tannins come from? Tannins are actually found everywhere, and that even includes our coffee, tea, and wine. I think pretty much anything aged in an oak barrel, chocolate. You can find tannins in chocolate. Tannins are naturally occurring plant polyphenols, and they are comprised of chemical compounds that are found in the plant tissues, and their function is to simply protect the plant from disease, infection, and rotting. But simply, tannins work by denaturing proteins. Think of the tanning hides. These chemical compounds are potent enough to fight off microbes and fungi. That's the reason why adding botanicals to your guppy tank or really any other tank for that matter can be so beneficial because it can work like an antibiotic. If you come across something like Finrod, adding botanicals to your tank can be very beneficial. If you think back to plant biology in school, you might remember inside the plant, there's little tiny circles called vacuoles. And these vacuoles are tiny little storage bubbles that help hold on to things to protect the plant, or they help keep things sealed off. Like, denaturing proteins. And by keeping tannins where they're supposed to be, they don't actively hurt or kill the plant. If Mr. Sells from my ninth grade biology class could see me now, but it's nature's way of fending off insects and herbivores, including us. That's the reason coffee and wine sometimes can have such a bitter taste. It's common to go to the creek or river in my area. When you get there, you find the water brown and murky. And because of all the driftwood and leaf litter in the area, the tannins do leach out into the groundwater. So that is why when you get there, the water is brown and murky. It's because of tannins. So why do you need to add botanicals to your guppy tank? I honestly think that there's a lot more benefits than negative aspects when it comes to adding botanicals. But I also do wanna share with you where I get them, how I prep them, and if you just simply don't like the look of black water, how I get rid of it. The first thing I did want to show you is where I gather the majority of my leaves. And today we are actually at Jesse's grandmother's house and they have a Missouri catapa tree on their property. In fact, they have multiple, but the Missouri catapa tree leaf is very similar to the West Almond Indian leaves that you can find online and occasionally in fish stores. The only difference I have noticed is they are slightly smaller and they seem to break down just a little bit faster. But honestly, they work great and they're very easy to recognize by the almond shaped leaf. I am super lucky because I have a dwarf magnolia tree in my front yard and these leaves work perfectly for betta tanks. When you are collecting botanicals, you do not want to add leaves from trees that are sappy. For example, pine trees, evergreen trees, or even locust trees. The toxins found in the sap are not good for your aquarium. In years past, I did prefer to boil all of my botanicals, but here lately, honestly, I have 
been just soaking them instead. I do think that if you boil the botanicals, if you can, it does kill off more of the microbes that are found on them, but it's entirely up to you. Regardless, if you soak them or boil them, you're going to have less tannins leach out in your tank when you use them, but regardless, you're still going to have some leaching of the tannins into your water. But remember, just don't boil rocks. After boiling for about 20 or 30 minutes, or whenever I just feel like I have soaked them long enough, at least a few days, I do just lay the leaves flat between whatever boards I have laying around the house. I just do try to make sure it is as airtight as possible. Then honestly, I just forget about them for a few months. When it comes to listing out the pros of adding tannins to your aquarium, sick fish do benefit from all the antibacterial and antifungal qualities of tannins. If you do add enough botanicals to your water column, it can help lower the pH for fish like tetra, but not necessarily recommended for your guppy tank. And since light can't as easily penetrate, through a dark water aquarium, it can help prevent the growth of algae. For the cons, like I said, I do recommend adding botanicals to your guppy tank, but do keep in mind you don't necessarily want to add enough to lower the pH of your aquarium. Don't chase numbers. And since dark water is hard to see through, you might have difficulty seeing your guppies and the other fish in your aquarium at times. And again, if you do have any aquatic plants in your aquarium, having too much dark water might prevent their growth just a little bit. Oftentimes when you add driftwood to your aquarium, you'll start to see this white fuzz develop along the driftwood. Don't panic, it's not harmful. It's actually a biofilm. And if you actually keep Neocaridina shrimp with your guppies, they will both enjoy grazing on this biofilm from time to time. If you do not like the look of a dark water aquarium or you simply just want to dilute the tannins, I recommend performing water changes. This will help. And I will have to say this is one occasion where I do find it helpful to use activated carbons. I use the filter inserts. I will either use them in my filter or I will float them for a small amount of time until things clear up. Let me know if you found this video helpful. And if you are curious about my favorite fish, the guppy, check out sciencegalaquatics.com for your copy of my book, All About Guppy Fish, The Ultimate Care Guide. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one.